Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. We're gonna do another Magic download today. Doing it, I do, I do downloads now. Uh, I've been reviewing downloads, probably do it, maybe, uh, maybe one a week, right? Um, Carl Irwin. Carl Irwin reached out to me. He has a trick over at Penguin Magic called Pick Six. Pick Six, Carl Irwin, penguinmagic.com, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. And uh, if, you've got, uh, if you've got a little string of tricks over there that are kind of in your shopping cart right now and you haven't quite yet hit purchased, add Pick Six to that because this is more than just a download. I know sometimes with downloads, all you get is a video instruction, okay? With pick six, you're gonna get uh, four videos, you're gonna get downloadable printable PDFs, you're gonna get editable PDFs so that you can change them to your own liking. You're getting so, so much, so, so much. He packs a ton of stuff into this, and like I said, it's only 10 bucks. 10 bucks. What is it? It's a lottery prediction. It's a, liter it's a literal physical copy of a lottery ticket that comes out of your wallet that's going to match the six freely chosen numbers that your spectator gives you. That's right. It's a $10 lottery prediction that you can keep in your wallet anytime, anywhere. Let's talk about it. So Pick Six is the fictional name that Carl Irwin has given to his state's lottery. Okay. And he's got a little pick six graphic and uh, the lottery ticket comes out of your back pocket and it's pre-printed, right? There's no, there's no tiny printer <laughs> inside your uh, wallet and there's nothing to buy. You're not going to buy, have to buy anything, you know, Bluetooth or anything like that. Uh, he's going to, he's going to give you the tickets as a download. You can print them off yourself. He'll teach you how to, to make them look like lottery tickets and he's going to teach you the trick. So the way the trick goes is uh, you have the spectator give you three random numbers, any three random numbers from one to nine, okay? And then you use those two numbers to make new numbers. So let's say they gave you uh, the numbers one and two, right, as part of their numbers. Well, with one and two, you can make the number 12 and you can make the number 21. So there's many numbers you can create. So they can give you any three numbers, any three numbers at all, and you're gonna create a series of numbers from those numbers, I hope I haven't lost you, <laughs> to create a lottery ticket. And then uh, you are writing all those numbers down right with the spectator. They're, the, you're, they're giving you the numbers and you're creating the new numbers right in front of them. You can then hand them that, there's no switch. You go to your wallet, open your wallet, pull out a lottery ticket and the pre-printed numbers are on that lottery ticket. That's the trick. And really the setup is you put the tickets in your wallet and you're done. I know what you're thinking. Oh, there's probably math involved. There's no math. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, there's probably some like weird instruction I give the spectator like, oh, take those two numbers and add them together, times your birthday, subtract the year you were born. Nope, none of that. None of that. Literally, they pick three numbers and then you use those three numbers they give you to create lottery style numbers and then you pull a ticket out of your wallet and it matches for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Is it what I thought? Um, yeah, kind of. I didn't know it would be to the extent that he did it and I didn't know the method, but I figured, well, it has to be some sort of multiple out, right? And it is, but it's not, uh, it, it's not as complicated even as you might be thinking. So uh, there is that. The download file that he's gonna give you is a zip file. It has generic PDF tickets. It has editable open document format tickets. It has uh, recommendations for uh, how to do the multiple out. There's an instructional video in there as well as an addendum video regarding what you could do if your lottery is international and it isn't in America because initially, I think the first video is for uh, a lottery in America, but he has an international video at the end. As far as the overall quality and production value of the video, um, I think it's an hour and 17 minutes. So he gives you an hour and 17 minutes worth of tutorial. Uh, there's two live performances, one for the camera, one for a spectator um, off camera. 
Um, he talks about the props, talks about how to prepare them, talks about how the force works, talks about how he prepares the multiple outs in his wallet. That's really the bulk of the video. Talks about how you can uh, make it different amounts of outs depending on the parameters you give the spectator. I'm not going to say anything more, but he talks about um, a Powerball variable, which is kind of cool. Lots of closing tips, lots of pointers, lots of philosophy, and like I said, even includes a video about international lottery as well. Pocket space, everything should fit in your wallet or um, would fit in your favorite index wallet. Angles, inspectability, there's nothing to find because you're literally going to hand them one lottery ticket. The numbers are going to match. Uh, the lottery ticket doesn't have a secret crib or a false back or anything to it like that. It's a, it's a piece of paper, right? That's all it is. And there's really just a one-time setup. You're going to print the lottery tickets out. You're going to cut them out. You're going to fold them. You're going to stick them in your wallet. And then at the end of your trick with reset, you're just going to take the one lottery ticket that you got out and put it back. That's it. Did you catch all those positives? No math, right? No math. No arbitrary hoops to jump through. Very straightforward. Anybody who's watching, even if they're not playing, easily followed, they could follow it easy. Negatives, what are the negatives? Um, you kind of have to carry all the outs, right? A and be able to access them quickly. Uh, Carl adds lots of um, tips about how to make that fast. Um, it just means you thinking quickly. Again, you're not doing math, but you're thinking about the, the multiple outs and where they are and how to access them. And I think you really got to l watch his tutorial, okay? It might be very easy for you to say, oh, I got this. I just cut these up and put them in my wallet and I go through the, the program. I, I really would watch his tutorial and really pay attention to, I, would, I wouldn't call it <laughs> the boring part or the slow part, where he really spends time on uh, the multiple outs and, and how to find them, how to group them, um, what he's thinking about as the spectator is giving uh, you their, your numbers, you're already thinking in your head about, okay, where you're going to go and what group uh, that's in in your wallet. So um, I'm not trying to give any of Carl Irwin's uh, trick away, obviously, but I at least want you to know uh, what you're getting into. I think at the end of the day, this is a beautiful lottery prediction that you can do anytime, anywhere. And like I said, I've seen so many of these lottery tricks where you start doing other mathematical things with the spectator, like, oh, take those two numbers and add them together, or, 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 you know, or you're adding them to this, or you're, you're saying, okay, let's take those numbers and create a new number. Um, I think those are just extra hoops. I think this is so much more magical by saying, we're gonna use just the three numbers you gave me. You gave me these numbers, right? And they don't change. The, if they say four, they're gonna see four in the prediction, right? I mean, if they pick four, six, and seven, those are the three numbers that they're gonna see on that lottery card. They're not gonna see any other numbers, just those three. So I think that alone is pretty great, right? And the fact that it just comes out of your wallet straight, um, it's, it's really good and really clean. And for 10 bucks, I don't think, uh, I don't think you can beat it. All right. That's everything I can say about pick six, Carl Irwin, penguinmagic.com. I hope I've introduced you to something new or maybe answered some questions for you about this trick that you were thinking. If that's the case, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, mash all those buttons. That really helps me out a lot. I'm still trying to get to 50 K haven't quite got there yet. Going kind of slow. But uh, I know we can do it. We can do it. Big, huge thanks to Carl Irwin, penguinmagic.com. If you want to purchase it, this is where you need to go. Penguinmagic.com. Carl Irwin, pick six. Thanks to Carl. Thanks to you guys. See you next time. Bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a row of graphics that look like t-shirts and you can click any one of those and that'll take you to my Teespring store. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, 
I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.